shooting happened at 5 a.m., the first time an Oakland policeman has been killed in nearly 20 years. Newton had not gone out looking to shoot police. There was an altercation, but this time, a policeman was dead and a black man was alive. That hadn't happened. And in one of the trials of the century, Black Panther leader Huey Newton faced the death penalty for killing a, a white policeman at a late night car stop in 1967 Oakland, a documentary that will be shown at the 100 Men Hall in Bay St. Louis this Thursday night. It's been getting a lot of attention. And joining us now to talk about it, American Justice on Trial, People versus Newton, is author of the book, award-winning author, uh, and this, uh, her book actually inspired the documentary. Lisa Perlman joins us now. Lisa, thank you so much for being with us today. Well, thank you for inviting me. Yeah, it looks fascinating. And I know this is something that uh, you worked really hard on when you, when you wrote the book. And uh, this was, case was, of course, revolutionary for its time, for sure. Absolutely. I mean, the major achievement that I focused on was the uh, diversification of the American jury. Up until then, a jury of one's peers for a couple hundred years was mostly white men. And what, what was it that drew you to this? I mean, we've heard a lot about this case over the years. Of course, um, he ended up serving um, a, a couple of years after being convicted of voluntary manslaughter, and that was later dismissed based on, I think, some faulty instructions along the way. Um, anyway, but um, what, why were you compelled to write this book? Well, actually, I'm a retired judge, and I'm also, uh, I was on the board of California Women Lawyers, which was co-founded by Faye Stender, who was one of his lawyers. Oh, and so you had that was, connection. She became, she became internationally famous because of this trial. That's how I got interested. And it must be a good feeling to you that this is picked up by this documentary now, and even more people will learn about it. And uh, it was on the short list for nominations. It didn't quite make it there, but in the top 15, I think, for documentaries. So that's quite an accomplishment. And I know this documentary has won some other awards as well. Right, it's won uh, eight awards um, and it's gotten rave reviews. So I'm very pleased. I was the uh, producer, I created the nonprofit uh, company that launched this project. So it took almost 10 years and I'm really proud of uh, what we achieved. And of course, I'm really glad to bring it to Bay St. Louis because that's where my husband grew up. Well, actually, he went to high school and his family has uh, lived ever since. Oh, well, that is quite a connection then. And I believe you're going to be there. We have the information on the screen. It's coming up February 9th, and this is a free screening. And people have a chance to see this uh, amazing documentary. And you're going to be there actually signing books too, right? Right, I have my book, American Justice on Trial, that will be there, and also um, I'll be taking questions from the audience. And that book being sold at Past Christian Books, I understand, which isn't too far away from Bay St. Louis. Lovely right. little bookstore there on the beach. Well, Lisa, I wish we had more time to talk because I know you have a lot to share, but I am glad we were able to get the word out that this documentary is going to be available uh, for people here on the coast to see Thursday in Bay St. Louis. I, I, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to having people see it. And also, if they can't come that night, they can, uh, they can get it through the website. Okay, uh, great. Okay, www.justicemovie.com, uh, they can rent it. Oh, perfect. Well, I'm sure that that will get some attention too. Thank you so much, uh, Lisa Perlman, for joining You're us welcome. today. Take care. Uh,